Vanakam. Welcome to Date with Danu right here on High TV, your luxury channel. Today on the show, we are celebrating a different culture and at the same time a culture that I am born into and uh, music that seems to be not getting the right platform here in Sri Lanka. We'll speak more about it as we move on with the show. This is a Thai Pongal special. Hi, I'm Soundari David Rodrigo and I'm here on a date with Danu. Happy to be on this show. Uh, Danu's programs have always been very special because uh, uh, he's a good friend and not only that but his shows are very interesting because I really don't know what's in store for me in terms of the questions and the rapport we share with each other. So I'm looking forward to that and uh, hope you are too. This show is going to be something very special because we are celebrating Thai Pongal, hence the attire and uh, I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, I'm Tanuja. And we're here we're to, go to go on, on a, a date, date with, with Danu. So this is a very special Pongal show. Um, that's why you can see we're all dressed up for Pongal and uh, we're waiting to see what Danu is going to be looking like as well. Um, it's going to be a fun show, I'm sure. This is the first time that I'm going to go on a date with Danu, so Tanu with Danu. So really excited to showcase uh, some of our um, uh, pro uh, program features for Sangeeta Megam 2 and talk about that on this show. Welcome to the show. So today we are going to be speaking to uh, three Tamilachis. <laughs> uh, so I have Soundary David, I have Megan and I have Tanu who goes with Danu. All right. So let's give a little background here. So Soundary has ventured into uh, creating a Tamil platform in having music uh, that has been celebrated over the years and uh, having a performance and giving audience something to enjoy in different languages. Let's speak about, you have always been a part of, part of creating English music and choral, but why did you make this decision to bring in a Tamil platform as well? Well, starting with the fact that I am Tamil, studied in Tamil in one of the best schools in Colombo. <laughs> but jokes apart, uh, when I was in school, actually Tanu will add to that later, I assume, but uh, we used By to have Megan the, uh, Tanu and I were in the same same class, class together, uh -huh. Megan was also in the same school, but not in the same class. Right. Uh, and uh, we used to have the Tamil Dekale Villas, mm. and that time I was like forced to learn this Tamil music, and then I used to write down, I think Tanu remembers that. So I actually was exposed to Tamil music at a very early age in school. And thereafter, of course, as you know, choir took uh, priority and my music was very geared towards very choral music. But then again, um, I think uh, my husband Pradeep influenced me because he's very much into the Tamil cine music hits. And, uh, and he's, he's also someone who plays with some of the yes, he, Tamil films. Yeah, so I mean, he, he is uh, exposed to it much more than me. And yeah. Uh, I began to like the music and uh, if you actually take uh, a look at Maestro Ilya Raja's music, there's a lot of classical music uh, mm. influence, I mean the yeah. orchestration. So I found that connection and then of course discovered some amazing singers, uh, Megan, Tanu and the boys and then I thought you know they should be given a chance also. I mean Sri Lanka as you already know, I've always said it, is full of talent so mm -hmm. it's up to it's us It's just a matter to, of yeah. creating a platform. Uh, one of the reasons why I thought this show is very important for us to have is the fact that in the 70s, 80s, early 90s, Sri Lanka had an equal balance when it comes to giving platform to singular music, singular talent equally for Tamil as well in terms of theatre, singing, um, voiceovers, drama, stage dramas. It has now eventually died down because there's a huge influence from Tamil Nadu. So mm -hmm. we tend to have a lot of music coming mm -hmm. in from India and seems like Tamil music has really died. But uh, who I would really like to thank here is Sanuka and Windy because I think they created a song that broke that norm and made everyone, even single stations, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. play it as a Tamil song and mm -hmm. it was very much celebrated. Um, I want to ask uh, Megan, do you remember the days when uh, Rupawaini and all used to have like Tamil dramas going? And we used to have. Not really. Huh? <laughs> Not really. I do remember watching Tamil oh, music than me shows. As well. <laughs> <laughs> older than you as well, yes. Thanks. <laughs> I remember a show called Muttu Charam. Yes, I remember, you remember that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that just played like Tamil songs and we used to just. And Ponmalai Poridu. Oh, okay. 
So okay. that that I remember. So these kind of shows also had like Tamil singers yeah, singing. Yeah. Now it's like we very rarely hear a Tamil singer coming forward and creating a name and sustaining. Mm. Why do you think that is, in your opinion? See, I think we've become so um, enamored with uh, Indian film influence, right? And that's who we look up to and idolize. And um, now we've kind of got all the movies coming in as and when they release in India, and we've kind of got into that whole culture. So no, now the, the local talent is only now sort of trying to raise its head. So there is a lot of independent music uh, creators in Tamil now. They are creating music, but it's going to take a while to Penetrate kind of into the really hit the market because we're all into the whole um, the film music from India. So that's what we have all grown up with as well. Mm -hmm. So breaking out of that is taking a while. Tanu, you're in Aussie. Yeah. Uh, can't marry you for the passport, no? <laughs> Wanted to be a true Tamil and ask that question as well, just uh, just to get the, just to get that cleared. Uh, how is you are in Melbourne? Yes, that's uh, right. In Melbourne, they really go all out. If it's Tamil weddings or they seem to have more Tamil things happening than us. How is it there? It is amazing because. Um, the Tamils there really, really treasure the Tamil culture because we are living away from home. Yeah. So there's a huge emphasis on nurturing the Tamil culture. Therefore, they look at opportunities uh, where they can instill anything in Tamil, whether it be a dance program or a musical program, or even collaborate with people that come from India. They find an opportunity and then just um, embark on that. So Tamil, I feel, is a big part of Melbourne culture. There's a large Sri Lankan community in Melbourne as well as in Sydney. Um, so I think I have more exposure in Tamil music there more than here, which is uh, strange, but it's fantastic because it's actually kept my Tamil culture, mm. you know, alive. Yeah, uh, I think they have more stores to buy clothes in Tamil than you will find here actually it's um, especially in Canada I think it's just packed mm. with more culture uh, we need to get into a segment that we call hot seat because this is where we put people in trouble <laughs> and welcome back to the show so we have these very tricky fun questions that we love to ask you walk away with a gift bag from a Crystal Luxury Wellness. Uh, I will make sure that it's delivered to your house, beautifully wrapped. <laughs> um, all right, so here's the story. These questions have made Soundari not even talk to me. Uh, but this is where it happens. Yeah, it, this is, yeah, what, this this is, is right. how it happens. Oh, Every single time it happens. She watches or somebody sends a part of the Shall clip and- keep asking her? No, no, I have to <laughs> ask. It's more fun that way. Uh, I just want to know, now you have been in class with her, no? Yep. Did you all maintain a friendship throughout or you all stopped talking a few times? <laughs> no, we maintained our friendship until I left Australia. But uh, I actually, focused on other stuff and lost connection with Sri Lanka uh -huh. and through COVID I re-established. Right. But how was the friendship with her? Amazing. Ah. She was a very close My friend. My God. So, really? so it's just a matter of you just you barking me. at me. Yeah, 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 that's true. All right, here we go. <laughs> if Soul Sounds had to recruit a male vocalist, who from the following will you pick? Hypothetical question. But you please do realize it's please a all female chorus, right? Yes, I'm just saying they have to recruit one male voice. Now, don't challenge this. Don't bring your lawyer card to me. Okay. Your options are Gihan Kure, Ishan Dilanarol, Dishyant Viraman, Iraj. Why that? <laughs> okay, so all four of them have really unique voices. No, I don't, voices. Need, are you, I don't need a sermon. Just quickly tell me, like one person. Oh, gosh. They all have really nice voices. Really? <laughs> but you don't think so? I don't think so. I don't need to sugarcoat it. Okay, not all of them. So I've been okay. always an admirer of Ishan's deep okay, done. Uh, there bass you got voice. It. So, who who yeah. won't you And get? it would contrast with the female right, who, voices. Who are the ones who you won't? Uh, so the uh, others they all have nice voices, so I would work okay. with them also if you at were some to, point. Uh, right, move on. <laughs> some questions are only for her. <laughs> this is for all three of you. If you were to wake up one morning with 
a male asset attached to you, what would you do? <laughs> I'll say yes, thank you. Now let me go out and do whatever the hell I want to do <laughs> without right. asking anyone for anything. <laughs> right. Be yeah. very happy with it. When you say male asset? <laughs> <laughs> a nose because men have no nose <laughs> I'm not sure how I would react so I would be like you know me like you might just cut it <laughs> can, can you can you go to Tano yes. <laughs> uh, Tano I think uh, I'm going to give you a deep answer I think the world currently needs a lot of empowerment to talk about equality. So I would use that asset to go and showcase both the pluses of the male asset on my body and what it can do and talk about the female part of it and talk about gender balance, which is a key message to the world. So sounds. Yeah. So you have just made a man look out of it. <laughs> <laughs> If you had to write a book about Soundri, what would the title of the book be? Very interesting. Oh gosh. What? This is, this is going to be really hard. <laughs> That's the title? It's going to be really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we keep it on that? This is going to be really hard. Uh, Thanu? Um, I, I don't know. On the spot. <laughs> Sounds, you have already come with an answer for yourself. Yeah. How about? Which is a title also of that other song we did, which is complicated. <laughs> <laughs> complicated, yeah. yeah. The complicated music. Okay, she's playing it safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, one of, the, one of the two female voices seated next to you, who is your personal favorite? Oh, come on, Tano. <laughs> yeah. You do see that we are right here. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Now, who, who is your personal favorite? Again, they both have unique voices. Right. You would know Megan has a beautiful low range. Who is your personal favorite? And Tanuja favorite? goes on the higher range. And they're both musical, they're both talented, so I really cannot choose. Right. Thank you. If, you, if both of them had to audition for Soul Sounds, <laughs> who would you pick out of the two? Oh my goodness. The one that resides here. Easy for her. Yeah, thank you, thank you for that smart. <laughs> I do have yes. to jump. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Tanu, you are not in it. <laughs> yeah, but if Tanu so was here, I would take both of them. No, right? uh, you can only pick one. So you have only picked me. So, but no, so no, then, no, so, no, so knowing me, given the fact that I'm already working with them on promoting Tamil music. I would keep them just for the Tamil music. Ah, so you, you I have just categorized them as Tamil music? No, That's no, it. No. You I think that they can't read so English? They can focus more on bettering that. Megan. How would you define feminism? How would I define feminism? Gosh, it's a very, there's so many ways of defining Just it. Just define it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very on the spot question. Dana. That's the whole point. Uh, I'm really stuck, actually. That's your definition? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really stuck for an answer. Um, feminism is standing for what you believe in and your, indivi your individuality and, and it shouldn't be something that only females sort of stand up for. Um, everyone should be a feminist and it's not about, you know, uh, protesting things and fighting for equality all of the time. It's about accepting that we are all um, actually different and unique and uh, celebrating all of that. That's what feminism is. So men can be feminists as well. Right. And Foundry. should be. No, true. I think celebrating that diversity. And uh, I strongly agree with Megan in the sense it's not about protesting or saying, you know, we want these rights. No, but it's uh, more to do with equality within diversity. Fanu? So I think feminism in my eyes is again I'm more on the neutral side, right? We are all human beings, right? Whether gender is a, a tag. So on that on that uh, outlook, how I see is it's nurturing, it's giving, right? 
and we can use that as an asset to, to do so many wonderful things. Whether you're a feminist and you want to articulate what you think, you don't have to be a feminist, men can do the same thing too. But we have to do it in a manner that's respectful, right, to the human beings. So that, that's how I view feminism. Okay. Do you think the diaspora has the right idea about Sri Lanka and her people and their current lives? I'm not too sure. Okay. Describe the following in one word. It's for all of you. Marriage. A lot of work. Huh? A lot of work. I wouldn't say a lot of work, but... Uh, yeah, that's because your fridge had an egg for like 17 years. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I think marriage is something really beautiful. Aww. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> no, because right now, uh, my husband is in India and I'm suffering doing everything at home. No, you understood so the value. Having, yeah, I understood <laughs> the value of marriage and I think sharing. I think that's key. He has to start sharing soon. <laughs> <laughs> that poor Pradeep does all the work on Not really. <laughs> uh, Tanu? I think it's culmination of two souls. One word. Okay, fine. Sajit Premadasa. I, you know I don't get into politics. One word. One Sajid word. When I say the word Sajit Premadasa, one word. Hmm. Oh, no. My usual. Hmm. Oh. I was trying to think of a difficult word to say, but then I can't think. Difficult words. You don't know. You know? You I know. I know. I um, think he should consider leadership. Sri Lankan cinema. One, one word. word. Yes, man. One word, please. Art. Thank you. Thinking. I mean, I'm thinking of the word. <laughs> Panu? Uh, have to step up the game. Date with Danu. Fun. Fun. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. That I should have just kept that question. Uh, I must say, I'm going to give this to Thanu. Of course. I feel like she had such deep and she also didn't complicate my questions. <laughs> First runner up is you. You are not even placed. Welcome back to the show. It's a date with Danu with a bit of a Tamil look to it. Um, so, someone, as someone who sees um, entertainment, 
I personally feel there was a time when uh, Tamil artists were treated equally. They will be featured in singular films and single artists will be featured in Tamil films. There was a time when uh, Sivaji Ganesan acted with Marlene Fonseca. And there are these phenomenal films and this also created a fabulous culture between two countries. It created a story that everyone could speak about. Um, and But right now we have just sort of stepped away and we've created such diversity uh, in cinema as well. Uh, but your lab been doing this show and half the musicians you have don't even understand a word that you are seeing, but they love the music. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this concept and this show and what you're going to perform this year. So we had this uh, Sangeeta Megam one where we uh, paid tribute to the musical greats in India like Maestro Ile Raja, A.R. Rahman. And uh, like you mentioned, what made the show special was the fact that like for example our keyboardist does not even speak Tamil but here he was writing all the notes not understanding sometimes what we were even talking and yet so to bring those emotions out exactly so that clearly shows that music is universal it does not have to depend on a language or a particular culture so that is the beauty I think of Sangeeta Megam uh, 1 and now Sangeeta Megam 2 and also like Megan mentioned before we're very much influenced by Indian music so Obviously, everything that we are performing, yeah, we, we are doing, yeah, other than Kadali, which yeah. yeah, and that also is influenced by Indian. But I think what makes this very special is the fact that it is performed entirely by Sri Lankans. Mm. And I think they're doing a really good job. And uh, I hope this will inspire other Sri Lankan artists, Tamil artists, because there's so much of talent of there. So this is just a platform to showcase this little group that we have as you know putting out a production is not, not very easy, easy. and Sagi no the Madam had a lot of uh, it was a hard task to take off exactly yeah. my how, goodness how, how many times did you all <laughs> how many times yeah, yeah. She, like five times, five times. <laughs> so you all thought that the name of the show was also cursed yeah, and yeah. you all so changed, yeah, the, changed name. the name what was it initially Kadalil <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was yeah. supposed to come out in March 2020. Yeah. Okay. And then you all know what happened Everything in March happened, 2020. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so it's been yeah three years in the process. making. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's great that you have created a platform. So this will also encourage a lot of artists who have not been able to showcase their talent because mm. Mm, because of the fact that language might have held them exactly. back. Uh, and also we feel like there isn't an audience for Tamil music, but I think uh, we have broken that stigma. I think there is an audience, but there is an audience who heavily rely on the Indians to give them entertainment here in Sri Lanka. Mm. With all due respect to the Indian artists who are great. I think they are the ones who uh, uh, influenced us. And also but kept yeah, it exactly. growing. Yeah, exactly. But I think now it's time that our Sri Lankan audiences started appreciating our own Sri Lankan singing. Mm. Uh, the, and presenting music uh, of Tamil origin. Yeah, um, you know, Sri Lanka also had some phenomenal Tamil bailas at one time yes. in the fifties, the sixties, and the seventies. They produced some of the best bailas, and those are all mm. like just shelved, and we don't exactly. know what has mm. happened to it because at, at that time, radio held such a special part in our country's culture in the seventies when SLBC came about. All three languages were given equal, equal. Mm. platforms, and we were heard loud and clear in India. In India. And so SLBC is really still big. a feature that they look out for. They're like, yeah. if it's not there, we don't want it in India. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's brilliant. Um, wanted to ask, in Aussie, uh, is there a thing like, oh, yeah, I'm Tamil, but I can't like speak a word. <laughs> there is. There is. There oh is. my gosh. That's because we yeah. have them here as well. So yeah. I just wanted to know about it. There is. Like, are they loud and proud to say it? Because I, I feel like sometimes we are ashamed of our own. There is. And I think uh, that's the migrant community. But people who are born there, the new millennials, they are really hungering for their identity. Mm. So they want to come back and understand the roots and come back and understand where their ancestors are from. But the ones that migrated there, thankfully I'm not one of them. <laughs> yeah. um, because I absolutely adore Sri Lanka and I identify myself as a Sri Lankan, al although I'm an Australian citizen. Yeah. Um, 
they some of them want to be um, you know we call them coconuts brown on the outside and white on the inside, on the inside. <laughs> yeah. yeah you can't change the brown <laughs> on the outside yeah. uh, but you know uh, in the year 2000 when the uh, when the uh, 2004 I think when the Ali Funk theme uh, came out by the black-eyed peas yeah. they used us yeah. yeah and and anyone who said, oh, now I can't speak a word of Tamil, <laughs> was put to shame because it was embraced by yeah. Americans and a, the biggest group at that time produced a song and made their theme. Yeah. Yeah. And it's phenomenal to know that I think we need to be proud about yeah. what identity we come with because only on the day of the wedding we want to dress all traditional exactly. and the whole works. Yeah. So um, let's speak more, but right now we have a competition and it's called Yes or No. So these are very simple questions, but this also gives us a reason to analyze and understand a person's behavior okay. and how their mind works. Okay. Right? <laughs> I really hope Sandra will show one side to it. Have you ever offered to complete a task for someone else in exchange for something specific from them? Thanks for being truthful. <coughs> well, you thought you were not I, but No, I don't feel so. Have you ever fallen on your face in front of other people? <laughs> Sounds, I want to know when. No, those, that's too private to share. Why? Uh, because I am a private <laughs> person. <laughs> Megan? It happened last month also. I fall all the time. Oh, you I was wearing those. sari. I got off the issue. car. <laughs> On Gold, not Gold Road, on Duplication Road, and stumbled just on the pavement. Sounds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, many No, actually, it's happened many it's times. It's so yeah. yeah. I Too think it's the height, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever gotten scolded by your significant other in front of your friends? No, he might have been scolded by you, Sounds. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, you really don't know him. I think the... Uh, what Hanu and Megan would have seen at rehearsals really? because I keep changing uh, music all the time and you all would have seen Pradeep get really angry. Same man, uh, because yeah. he's the musician who has to like deal with it, no? <laughs> uh, but he doesn't scold you. He yeah. Does, but, but I think the whole world knows that he's irritated. <laughs> <laughs> Just the face, Sunny <laughs> Pao. Yeah. Really. Uh, have you ever gotten into a serious fight with a close friend over a minor issue? Minor issue or major issue? Minor issue. That's the question. So it depends on... Minor <laughs> issue. Megan has already given the answer. So has Tanu. Yes, I knew it. Yes. <laughs> Got you. You know that friend Have is you, Have you ever right? dirty danced at a club? Dirty danced? No. no? <laughs> Have course. you ever been so upset that you cried yourself to sleep at night? Sorry. Yeah, of course. <laughs> This How one can cry at her. <laughs> Have you ever gone more than two days without taking a shower? Hmm, really? Yeah. No. Is my curls won't stay for two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Showers every day. <laughs> Have you ever made one of your parents cry in the past? <coughs> Have you ever imagined your own funeral? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Are you extra over the top? No, no. I don't know. <coughs> you are, Sandri. Okay. You are. You walk away with a gift box from Coca-Cola for being on the show with us. Thank you so very much. Uh, Megan, you're the winner. Thank you. All right. Uh, we are getting into a break. We'll see you right after. Welcome back to the show and we are speaking about Tamil music and Tamil entertainment in Sri Lanka and how we can sustain it. A uh, lot of reality shows have come um, and we are, I'm happy to see talent coming all the way from North, Vavania and um, soon after the war ended, uh, this is a true story, um, somebody who was living overseas asked me, are you happy that the war is over? And I said, yes. Are you happy the way the war ended? I said, that's not a place that I can answer. But I'm really happy that the war is over. Okay. Because I said, 
you moved out of this country way before the problem got so bad. And I said, today as we speak, there's a girl taking part in a reality show and she's in the top three. She would have never had that opportunity if the war did not end. And I'm so grateful that the ones who sacrifice their lives for whatever reason, being at the wrong place at the wrong time or being caught to something or being abused over this war, still got a chance to um, go knowing the future is going to have a, have a future. And uh, that's remarkable. So uh, that's, that's where I stand. I'm so happy that you know, we can have the kids dreaming and bringing out their talent and, um, and you know, giving a chance for this culture to penetrate throughout the country. Mm -hmm. As much as me being a Tamil, I wanted to speak in Sinhalese and I wanted to keep the language alive. Just like you, you I think most of the songs that Soul Sounds initially sang yeah. were some of the best well-known Sinhalese songs. Exactly. Uh, tell me this, uh, in, in, in the market selling a Tamil show, uh, you have been in advertising, Megan, yeah. how, how hard is it? It is very hard. Actually speaking, it's a, it's a huge task because we are so used to and, and our everything we listen to and watch is Indian for, for Tamil. So having to sell a local show to our audience is really hard because they, would think, they won't think twice about buying tickets for an Indian show. I wouldn't think twice about buying it. I'd, I'd, I'd also go and, and watch. But um, when it's our own uh, singers and our talents, People do think, mm, do I have to spend this for a local show? Will it be as good as watching someone from India? Maybe I'll wait for the Indians to come back. So no matter how hard you push, how much you advertise, exactly. it's, um, it's in their mind that we're not mm -hmm. as good, so they won't come and buy a ticket to watch. So it's which is what we want to for change. English music, I think. Yeah, um, but not Eng as not much though. Yeah. Because English, I think we've kind of proven ourselves mm. that, and there are people who want to go and watch yeah, that. Because the rock and bands and yeah. all of that have done so well mm. in, in English here. And there's a huge audience for, for the little independent bands around here. But Tamil, it's, it's hard. It's, yeah, but something that I also really loved in the last year was the fact that the girl who won the voice title was a Tamil girl and, he, and she l embraced her culture, she sang Tamil songs and even yeah. singly songs and the whole country voted for her and yeah. I thought that's remarkable and it's if really somebody great. is trying to say there is, you know, there is diversity, people are still arguing about ethnicity, language in this country, that's just, I don't think the problem is created by the people, the problem no, is created by really. the system. And I think that proved itself in this um, in this reality show, and I thought it was remarkable. Um, but but where would you say this has to work its way up to for it to you know be an easy show to sell? Well, it has to come to a point where the Sri Lankan audiences are aware of what we are giving them. So mm -hmm. they need to actually be there, listen, appreciate, and then say, okay, our musicians are as good, or they are getting there, mm. or they are able to produce music of the Indian greats to a standard where we can appreciate them. So I just think it's awareness maybe. Yes. And I think right now, like Megan said, there is a mind block. So we need to break into that as to how we are going to do that. It's, uh, something we need to yeah, it's carefully going to take consider. Time also to but make that break that being that said, I think we are appreciative of the support given to us so far. So far yeah. And uh, we hope that we can continue bringing them good music. But I also must add, right, Sanghi the Megam one was watched by international audience. So uh, back in Australia, I know um, a lot of platforms uh, we were able to advertise and get people to watch. So I had a lot of uh, Australian music musicians that actually watched the show and said I just cannot believe this is Sri Lanka they talked about the lighting the sound the theater the musicians and also the arrangements of the song mm -hmm. that of course credit goes to you it was no, but remarkable. I think the Tamil uh, uh, music of course uh, credit goes to the composers because so what is yeah, also you took it and you 
yeah, gave it yeah. a bit of a spin and that is not really so in this particular thing with soul sounds I do that <laughs> but here I think um, uh, the greats of Ilya Raj Ayad, their music is beautiful by itself and I the think, world yeah, is celebrating exactly. them exactly so I yeah. we didn't actually do much we, we are trying yeah, to stick to the original yeah. other than a few mashups and right. the medleys where we really brought a twist to it I think that was it and that credit goes to my husband brilliant all right uh, all three ladies here are married Happily? Yes. yes. And we have a question. <laughs> and it is a kinky one. One of our coolest sponsors on the show, Midnight Divas. You know, ladies, I'm going to give you all a new reason to smile today. So there's one question. I, I kept the question at the back. No, I forgot. What's something non-sexual that turns you on? Brains. Brains. Men who can actually speak. Of you are very quick, huh? You very quickly yeah. answered that Why? question. So it's, it's yeah. Safe it's a very safe sexual. question, Soundri. <laughs> There's nothing upstairs and no doing. Downstairs doesn't matter if they're upstairs or not there. It's <laughs> true, so. <laughs> Soundri, I mean, guys, uh, are you okay? Uh, brains is there, but I'm saying somebody who can actually connect with your soul and who knows what you're thinking. Um, yeah, so that really like immediate connection really with deep. someone. Soul to soul. <laughs> soul, soul to soul, <laughs> body to body. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're not letting your mother watch this show, no? <laughs> your show, everybody watches, <laughs> right? right? My no. daughter watches. Ah, you're yeah, sorry. Exactly. Please. Uh, Tanu? PG? I'm, I'm not copying Megan, but for me, a conversation with a man turns me on. <laughs> Brilliant. Considering the fact that Megan was the first to answer, Megan, I'm going to give you all the reason to spice it up today. Uh, thank you to our friends at uh, Midnight Divas for making this possible. Uh, you can also leave a comment of what is it that is non-sexual that turns you on. We'll see you after this performance. <laughs>
We wanted to ask some heavy questions now. Let's get into it. The fish the dirt. Welcome back to the show. So this question I wanted to ask Tanu, considering the fact that you live in Aussie, and there is a bit of a, there is a bit of a, what can I say, a mental block in understanding how life is here for the Tamils, for the Sinhalese, for, for Malay, Burger, Muslims, all of us. And I think we have proved it to the world that we are actually a very united country. And even when we don't have, we will have the heart to give. Uh, there's always a bad fruit here and there. And, can't judge the whole thing because of the bad fruit. So, tell me, how do the, how does the Tamil community sort of understand Sri Lanka? So, with recent, um, you know, coming together of the nation with the, the unrest in the country, I think what Sri Lanka was able to prove is resilience, perseverance, and absolutely, as you said, whether we have. Uh, the money or the economic crisis or regardless of that people were happy to come together stand together and and they most importantly showed resilience right and that actually shook australia because believe it or not a lot of people didn't even know where sri lanka was, was. and on a daily basis australian news would feature all of the people coming together and protesting and fighting for that freedom and um, and I think that was really empowering not only for Australia but the entire world saw so Sri Lanka as a country that was a third world country but the people came together and put Sri Lanka on the map in the world so I think kudos to all the people and uh, although we were there we felt part of it like I just wanted to be here I just wanted to be with the people um, so it was amazing to 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 witness that and I think that has broken a lot of boundaries and, and a lot of restrictions patterns. and thinking patterns and uh, also the caste creed race religion everything's mm sort of you know non-existent now like mm -hmm. I think it's amazing what happened happened because I think we as and also the young people to come together and set a new trend and a new mindset to take Sri Lanka from strength to strength to the next level I think we are on a great path but we need great leaders to 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 keep keep, keep on going, going. Yeah. that is true uh, I'm sure you all have families abroad who what have their conversations been with you all in the last few years? So there has been a lot of concern. So obviously they call a check and then because like Tanu said, we are out there in the news. So I would say, um, yeah, concern and see, I had this uh, view that you live there and you can't really comment on what's happening. So unless you're actually here. Yeah. And so seeing it day in and day out. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, just saying, oh, hope you guys are okay. I'll, I'll be like, okay, but come live here and see what mm. we are actually going through. So, it's difficult to explain the hardship that we went through. But I must say that within people we knew, obviously, there has been a lot of empathy. Mm. That's amazing. Megan? I would say mostly the same. It's been concern mm. and... I think also because the media has sort of highlighted only the negative side of things, even though, yes, we were uh, going through a lot, especially last year, um, they only saw the, the downside of it and the, the very, the lowest, the, the mm. worst sides of things. So they were very concerned about things like, you know, do you all have to eat? Yeah. Do you, mm. Can you all actually um, uh, move around? Mm. Like, um, so I think it was kind of twisted a little more than uh, ground reality here. So there was a lot of concern and of course a lot of calls about when are you applying to come? Yeah, Don't live there anymore. That's so true. <laughs> you know, now it's time so you all actually left and came here and uh, so I was like, no way, this is mm. home for me. That's the problem. And a lot yeah. of people who actually go there make it a wow to come back. Mm. They're like, we need to come back here. Mm. And it's, 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 it's so wonderful to see that. And uh, no, the reason is it's always good to especially educate the second, third generation of the, of the Sri Lankans who flew out to know that Sri Lanka has definitely changed. Mm. The people who are True. the poisonous ones who fed into such things and really believed it and fought with their neighbors and burnt mm. their houses or uh, killed each other in the name of, you know, I want to save my 
they have all moved on and mm -hmm. uh, people have understood you know we are so beautiful because we have so much to do and exactly. and if you do go way 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 back in time how do you define sri lanka sri lanka was defined for its fact that we had so many people True. not the fact that we had one set of people mm -hmm. and that's what's True. beautiful and i think it's very very important especially to use a common language like English to communicate mm -hmm. that to more people than one. And I think having shows like this, having people get involved and mm -hmm. making them perform just gives us, I think entertainment and sports are the yeah. coolest ways yeah. of, to bring people together. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it, it always does and that is what's amazing. We'll see you right after. Welcome back to the show, our final uh, few minutes on A Date with Nanu, a very special edition. I uh, wanted to speak a little bit about what's next. Oh, I wanted to speak to Megan about her award-winning book. Um, so that's the only book. <laughs> the second, <laughs> no, it was not award-winning. The second book was long-listed for the Gratian, but it didn't that win. That is also hard, so no. It is hard, and I'm very proud of the fact, yeah. but You can't apply win. for it, no? Huh? They have to pick it. Yeah, so you, you submit your work and then they pick it. Apply for yeah, it. Okay. You have to apply for so, it. So, um, are you writing anything these days? I've taken a long break, not intentionally. It's not a long break, it's just that you have not written, that's no, the truth. Yeah. I have not, yeah. for months, but yeah. I'm hoping to start again soon. That's amazing. Yeah, um, she, uh, so your book of poems, yeah. just refresh our memories if you don't mind. It, it, first fee, it got onto an online platform. Yeah, so the first one was published in the US and uh, you can buy it on Amazon. The second one, I didn't publish it, but uh, that's the one that was long listed for the Gratian. I'm yet to publish it. You can see how slow I am so doing Andre, things. have you read the book of poems? Poems, yeah, you actually gifted me, and it's beautiful. But have you read it? Of course. Oh. <laughs> just she reads, she reads uh. when I post online. But I yeah, didn't get a book, because you said it's just online. Yeah, so I was only able to bring down 100 yeah, books. Yeah, I know you had very few things, the only one you gave So me. can you imagine? Yeah, yeah, so it was, it was yeah. not the greatest of experiences, but I only had 100 books for all of... I couldn't make it to the 100, no? <laughs> After <laughs> giving so much launch, of my no? age. For oh my God. <laughs> sad. Uh, what keeps you busy, Thanu, apart from coming here to occasionally perform? <laughs> so I have, I have a very demanding career. Right, so apart from that, I'm quite busy with music. So I'm part, part of two bands there. Oh, wow. And we also do a lot of freelance music. Uh, so for gigs and events. Um, so, and also when Indian playback singers come there for shows, I get to be part of, part of those shows. So right. music plays a big part in my life. So music and Since my They career. seem to be more busy there than they, here. They really are. Yeah, which is quite ironic though. Uh, sounds, what do you have planned for the year 2023? So 2023, uh, the end of it also marks 20 years for Soul Sounds. So hopefully something very special. And then also I want to focus more on the academy because that is the next generation of singers. You would have seen some young voices coming up. And uh, I just want to focus more on developing the Soul Sounds Academy. So, and of course, I'm really enjoying my experiences with these two beautiful singers and of course the other singers, we have forgotten the boys. Uh, there is Prakash, Abhi do, and Aman, not really. And an amazing uh, band of musicians uh, backing this show. So I'm hoping if this goes well, that we are also planning to take the show up to Jaffna uh, and first make it popular in Sri Lanka and then let's see what God has in store for us. Well. She has told me to tour with them. Yeah. Yeah. For and we are going to be friends this year, yeah? yeah? And for that, I'll sing. Okay. Yeah. Not for this? I was, I'm yeah. still thinking about to sing, so. So do you, do you listen to a lot of Tamil music? Yes. I will sing Tamil Day in No, like current So Tamil which is music? your favorite Tamil song, Dano? I just sang it. That that's is your favorite? That's the ancient, <laughs> Dano. No. Yeah, but it's nice. I will sing Tamil Day Do you want to sing this? No. Sure? Nina Venazirikum Malargodia. That's why all harmony comes in. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> right. Uh, well, we need to wrap things up on the show. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. I wish you all the very best. Uh, thank thank you. you for agreeing to do this show and also our Thai Pongo special on uh, Date with Danu. We will see you with another cool episode to the show. Thank you so very much to everyone here because it's a lot of work to sort of put this set up uh, and also take it down to an amazing team I have. Thank you so very much. We will see you soon. Till then, you keep smiling. It's a wrap. Thank you.